All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadash, double honors to the Apostle LG and Mr. Rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing the word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out here. Shout out to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners that came back to the obedience of the scriptures to faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, what I want to touch on today, you know, on how, you know, the end, all right, awaits. You know, the end awaits. You see, there is nothing anyone, you know, can do, you know, to alter, all right, the judgment that set in the earth. You know, the end of Esau's rulership in the earth. You know, the end of this age, the end of this society, it's already set. You see, you got these different movies like Terminator where, you know, they're trying to go back in time and alter, you know, the future. You know, hey, that's, all right, a fairy tale, all right? That's not based on what is. That's not based on the scripture. That's not based on the reality, you know, of the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You see, when you start, all right, a race, let's say you run a 100-meter dash, all right, well, the finish line is already set. You see, you're running to a certain point, all right? You're in motion. And see, the planet Earth, all right, existence is in motion and is reaching to that point of the finish. And there's nothing that can be done. You see, you can't stop in the middle of the race. You can't go backwards, all right? You can't just quit the race. No, this race has to be ran, you know, and the finish line is already there. You know, no one's going to drop the finish line, you know, off, you know, just in a random spot. You know, uh, in the middle of the race, they can't move the finish line back. They can't move it forward. You see, it's already set, and the scriptures, you know, proved it. You know, so let's get that. Um, start that in Ezekiel chapter seven, verse three. It says, "Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and recompense upon thee all thy abomination." And this is mainly dealing with Israelites. You know. Because the elect, all right, and the non-believers of our people, you know, hey, the end is coming for all of us, man. You see, the end of this time is coming for all of us, you know, and you have, you know, for the nation of Israel, you have two outcomes. You know, either you're going to be rewarded with immortality, you know, and rulership, you know, with your house because, of, um, you know, uh, during this race, you repented. All right, during this grace period, you repented, and then you came back to the obedience of the scriptures, you know, which all the elect are predestined to do, you know, or either you despise this word, you know, and did what you wanted to do, and you're going to receive, all right, that recompense, man, which is that harsh judgment that's to come, you see? So at the end of the day, all right, we all, you know, have to finish this course and make it to the end. We're going to be here in the end of this age where it's going to be great judgment. But the thing is, what type of reward will you get? Will it be for righteousness, you know, and for faith? Or will it be, all right, for wickedness and stiff neck, all right, and unbelief, man? You see? But that's coming, man. All right? It says, and my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Yeah, because people ignore, all right, the scriptures, man. Com people completely, you know, ignore the uh, the righteousness, you know, that's within the scriptures, man. You got, uh, you got, um, 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 you know, people, you know, want to vote, you know, people want to do, you know, economical, you know, Jake want to try to do economics, you know, Jake into all these religions and, you know, going back to Africa and all into Africa. You see, Jake do all these things and ignore repentance, ignore the righteousness of the scriptures, ignore, you know, uh, um, you know, how we went off, you know, according to the word, man, you know, according to the covenant. You see, people want to completely ignore you. How about Shemal Shai? So uh, the Lord is going to make himself known by great judgment. He said he's not going to spare. He's not going to have any mercy, you know, on the young, old, women, child, all right, all that. That's a female. See, that's going to be out the window. The most high do not give a damn. You see, judgment just going to come, all right, and a lot of people, you know, are going to be overcome, you know, in the times that we are uh, coming into. 
You see? And we and this talk for Israelites, man, because the heathen is through. They just got to take what it is, man. All right? But we have a Savior. We have a grace period to repent, you know, before the end comes. It says, um, verse 5, it says, Thus said the Lord power and evil and only evil. Behold, is come. Yeah, man, the only um, news that's coming to the, the unbelievers of our people, you know, those who have refused the correction of the scriptures is evil. No good news is coming for um the uh, uh the wicked of our people. Just like these two presidential candidates that our people have, man. You know, there is no good coming from either one of them, man, because they both carry out the bidding, all right, of the elite bankers, man. You know, which despise you Israelites more than anything in this earth, man. All right, verse six it says, "An end is come." The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. So the end is watching <laughs> for <laughs> for you, man. You see? The end is already set. Like I say, the, it's already a, a time appointed, you know, for the destruction, for the mayhem, for the chaos. Just like now, you know, people are waiting, you know, the uh, outcome of the election. Well, it's for a point in time. The Most High is holding back that announcement, man. Because he wants it to jump off when he wants it to jump off, man. You see? But it, and it, it waited for thee. The end waited for thee, man. You know, it's like it's looking at you getting closer to it, man. You know? And and, and when we get there, man, it's going to be a hell of a ride, man. You know? But we got to be rooted in faith, man. You know, we're going to get uncomfortable. We're going to be persecuted. But guess what? Through the midst, in the midst of that, the Lord is going to show favor, man. The Lord's going to live for standard, man. You know? And the elect going to be good. All right? So let's get that. You know? Um, Habakkuk just to prove all right that these things are for a point in time. This is Habakkuk two and one. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. Yeah, because the the, the men of the Lord and the prophets, you know, have been placed on the tower, you know, a watchtower, all right, for the nation of Israel. You know, whether our people take heed to the warning or not, you know, the Lord all right, ordained us to be a watchtower unto our people, man, which means, you know, we have the foresight. We can look out, you know, because a, a man on the watchtower, you know, he can see farther out than someone, you know, who is on the ground. You know, he will be high in a tower where he can have um, a vintage point where he can see far. And that's why, you know, the prophets, you know, are watchmen because we can see far through these prophecies, man, you know, and we're warning and blowing the trumpet to our people, you know. So, and we watch what he's saying to us by what? Watching what's going on, the current events, man. You know, that's the Lord speaking through these things, man. All right, the earthquakes, the uh, the, the rumors of wars, all right, the, um, the, 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 the civil unrest, you see, the civil wars. You know, that's the Lord speaking to his prophets, man. You know, and we report these things. He says, verse 2, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Asha, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. Yeah, because now the vision has become plain to us in the latter end because now we're in the time of fulfillment of all things, man. You see, there were certain technologies and inventions, you know, that wasn't uh, made, you know, during the time, you know, that these books were written, you know, and they seen the vision and they described the best that they could. But now we understand exactly what they're speaking about, man. We, we know what the RFID microchip is, you know, the mark of the beast in the Bible, which is the uh, RFID microchip. It wasn't invented when John, you know, Revelator seen the vision of it, you know, but he described the best as he could. You see, then you had on um, the arrows, you know, which um, on, on a lot of context of the scripture, the prophetic scriptures are speaking about missiles. Missiles wasn't invented then, but they had visions on it and they wrote it down. You see, so now we plainly, you know, see these things and we're running, you know, with these prophecies, man. You know, like either you're running to salvation or you're running to your destruction, man. You see, verse three, it says, for the vision is yet for a pointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, man, because it seems, you know, as if it's a far off or it's tearing or nothing major is happening, you know, from time to time within this ministry, man. You know, within being a watchman, you know, but it's coming, man. It's, hey, the Most High doesn't have a pause button within, you know, his prophecy, man. You know, things might slow down and speed up, slow down, 
you know, but everything is moving forward, you know, towards this appointed time. You see, I want to get that word appointed and see what it goes into in the Hebrew. It's uh, Mawa'ad, all right, Mawa'ad, all right, it says appointed place, appointed time, all right, it says appointed sign or signal, you know, um, you know. So it's appointed, man. We know what the word appointed, you know, means. Let's go into the, uh, let's see if we can find something here. All right. It says of a time or place. All right. It's appointed in um, Google. It says of a time or place decided on beforehand, designated. All right. You see that? So this, this time was appointed beforehand, even before the foundation of the earth. It was designated. You know, and we in those times. That's why the scriptures say the Lord created Esau, the bounds for Esau that he can't pass, man, because the time was already um, predestinated beforehand. You see? So let's end it with this. All right, so Rock 5 and um, 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn unto the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah, because every day that's put off is a day closer, you know, to that appointed time. All right, that was already predestinated. You know, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, you know, because it's going to be quick, man. When this thing really hits, you know, when this chaos really starts, um, you know, forming uh, 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 within this society, man. You know, when, 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 when the famine really sets in, when the war, you know, um, uh, 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 really jumps off, you know, when these things really begin to happen you know then we're gonna know all right uh, uh, uh that it's that time you know where the lord finna move swiftly man you see and a lot of people gonna be overwhelmed man because they're not pre pre preparing themselves for this moment you see and it says um and in in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance man yeah a lot of people gonna be destroyed you know and the things that they believe themselves to be secure you know what is you believe in politics you believe in economics you believe in uh you know the second amendment you know whatever you believe in you know your career you know your status you know whatever your security blanket is man you're gonna be destroyed within that man because the most high is gonna overwhelm this place with judgment man you know so i just want to bring that out man lord will you know you brothers and you few sisters you know um and sincerely believe you know we're edified to the next time shall one